Hey guys, welcome back to another nursing video. I know it's been a while since I did a last nursing video. My apologies. It's been a very busy year, I should say. There's a lot going on with family, with work. I just wanted to update you guys with regards to the new process of the nursing council that will happen this December 2023. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So the New Zealand Nursing Council is changing their registration process this year, December 2023. Everything I've mentioned here is in their website. So if you want more thorough explanation and information, please visit their website. I will leave their link here or down below. So what is changing? As I've mentioned in my previous vlogs that we've been doing CAP competency assessment programs in CAP providers. Now, instead of doing CAP, you will have an online exam, orientation and preparation course, plus your OSCE. So why are they changing it? With this new process, it is more standardized and more consistent approach to assess your competence. This is to protect public safety by being objective and fair. So part one is the online theory exam. This will test your nursing knowledge across a range of competencies. It includes ethical and legislative requirements to practice in New Zealand, medicine, calculations, and the management of nursing care. This is an online exam. It will be taken in a Nursing Council accredited exam center overseas and in New Zealand. Common question about this is, is it NCLEX? No, it is not NCLEX. Maybe almost the same because it will test your nursing knowledge. But no, it is not NCLEX. I've read in one of the posts of the nursing board member, Mr. Manu Palayu, it is the state finals that the nursing graduates of New Zealand take. Next is the orientation and preparation course and your OSCE. So this three will happen in a three-day period. First two days is your orientation and preparation course. These courses will help you prepare on how to be a nurse in New Zealand and let you familiarize the basic equipment for your OSCE. OSCE is on the third day. It will test your clinical skills. It will take on average three hours and will involve a range of different clinical scenarios. You will need to be in New Zealand to be able to take this. So for the registration process, everything will remain the same. All your documents should be checked and verified by CGFNS. Once verified, your report will be sent to the Nursing Council. Once received by the Nursing Council, you will receive an email inviting you to register. A case manager will be appointed for your case and assess your application. Once successfully assessed, Nursing Council will let you know if you will be required to complete the theory exam and OSCE. Now for some frequently asked questions. What if I did my CGFNS now? Can I still do the CAP? You will only be exempted with the new process if your documents are already verified by CGFNS and you've managed to apply for registration to the Nursing Council before the implementation date of the new process which is December 4, 2023. What if I fail my exams? Don't worry, you will have an opportunity to retake your exams. The most important question is how much? There is no official announcement about this yet, but the council is committed to ensuring the fees of the new processes will not exceed the current average cost of the cap. Next is, are the English requirements changing? No, it will remain the same. So I will put everything in the screen for you to check, but yes, it will remain the same. Lastly, do all nurses have to complete the new competence assessment requirements? Some nurses may be exempted, but that depends with the nursing council. So you will still need to do the CGFNS. They will let you know after they assess your application. Most likely the ones that are exempted are the SGRNs and UKRNs, who has been working there for several years. But yes, only the nursing council will give that decision. So yeah, that's a quick video about the changes of the registration process from the New Zealand Nursing Council. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.